Hello and welcome back to the village and welcome back to the vlog. Sunny days have gone. I don't think we're going to see many more of those till 2021. It's overcast today and the weather forecast says that we're due for some uh, rain as well. We we're in Banja Luka a little earlier on today. I had to go and get my dressing done again um, for my foot. Um, hopefully now with 10 days of antibiotics, I'm going to be a lot better. But the proof of the pudding is in the eating right and Tam and I have been talking about how people are coping with the crisis that is not only here in Bosnia and Herzegovina but across the world and that is the COVID-19 or coronavirus whatever you want to name it and how difficult it is for people uh, to recover from something like this and if they ever will recover and um, yeah it's something that we think about a lot so in this vlog uh, it's going to be slightly different because 51 years ago, this past week, in fact, on October the 27th, Banja Luka was hit by a terrific earthquake. We are Tamara and David, an Anglo-Balkan couple who live in a village in beautiful northern Bosnia and Herzegovina. Here on our channel, we take you along with us during our daily lives and also to the places we discover on our trips away. From everyday life to culture and food, we'll show you what it's like for us living in this much misunderstood country. We're looking forward to you joining us. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Every October the 27th these days are mildly autumnal here in the Western Balkans. However, on the morning of October the 27th, back in 1969, 51 years ago, the weather conditions couldn't have been more different. During the early morning, a devastating earthquake, a magnitude of 6.5, hit Banja Luka at 2.55 a.m. The earthquake took many lives and covered the city in dust within seconds. This severe earthquake killed 29, seriously injured 150 and left 65,000 homeless. Banja Luka back then was considerably smaller than now with some 50,000 inhabitants. 60% of the dwellings were razed, three neighbouring towns were destroyed and among the major buildings raised by the shock were the city hall, the cultural centre, 15 schools and five dormitories. To add to the chaos, a textile factory that was damaged during the earthquake began leaking sulfuric acid and other chemicals, contaminating the river and the city's water supply. In the entire area of that destruction, a total of 86,000 apartments, 266 schools and 592 cultural, health, social and business facilities were partially damaged or completely destroyed. It took quite some time for Banja Luka to recover, but with contributions from all over Yugoslavia, Banja Luka was repaired and rebuilt. The authorities were forced to send elementary and high school students from Banja Luka to other parts of the former Yugoslavia to finish the academic year. The economy suffered heavy losses. All enterprises worked with significantly reduced capacity during the following period, and some of them stopped production completely. From those 86,000 apartments that were destroyed, accommodation had to be found. Temporary barrack-type housing was built not too far from the city centre. It still exists today, albeit with considerable modifications. Banja Luka still gets quite large earth tremors, but hopefully nature won't revisit Banja Luka with such destruction again. So we're driving along this area um, called Bujak and Bujak is an old Turkish word, it means a secluded corner of somewhere. So I can only assume back in um, the late 1960s and the, 19 and the early 1970s that the city fathers decided to, um, to use this area and it has lots of um, as you can see, temporary buildings, and I think you called them barracks, right? Yeah. Um, and this is where a lot of people came who lost their, their houses. 60,000 people lost their houses in the earthquake of 1969. The thing about 
Bujak is it was only meant to be temporary and it's all these years later, 44 years later and they're still standing these um, temporary buildings uh, and people have actually made them into permanent dwellings and also apparently after the conflict of the 1990s uh, refugees came in here so you know 44 years ago this wasn't here as it was now 44 years ago earlier on this morning what's the time now it's about 20 minutes to 4 in the afternoon at 9 o'clock in the morning there was this massive earthquake I don't think that back then it was a nice blue sky warm day at 24 I think it was a freezing autumn in 1969 uh, and the start of one heck of a load of misery for people so what is temporary becomes permanent Banyaluka 51 years ago a massive earthquake amazing chaos a massive crisis and I have to say people back then didn't have the technology and the advancement that we have now in 2020 but Banyaluka has bounced back it is one of the most beautiful cities in the whole of the Western Balkans the economy has been regenerated it's really modern buzzing it's like everything that you could ever or the people back then would have ever wished for so maybe the vlog although slightly sad in a way shows you that even what we're living through at the moment there's light at the end of the tunnel there will be light at the end of the tunnel and maybe when I'm long and gone people will be thinking back <laughs> at this period of our life and say hey we got through that anyway enough of that thank you very much indeed for watching this vlog I hope it was slightly informative not our normal sort of a week or you know the few days of a week that we experience here Tam and I uh, in the village but I thought it was important because every year I certainly do think about that uh, earthquake all those years ago if you like the vlog if you like the channel please do share like and subscribe everybody says that I know thumbs up means a lot subscriptions uh, means a lot and if you've watched to this point in the video then the watch time is up as well and I'm not going to lie to you the YouTube algorithm will make it better for us okay that's it for this vlog we will catch you very soon and wherever you are in the world please from Tam and me and the greater family that we live with stay say stay safe wherever you are